We're so close. It's so far away. You know how when you want to say something and you have it all planned out in your head and you know how it sounds in your head but you don't know how to say it like with the right words? That's what this video is going to be. So bear with me because I don't know if what, all what I'm going to say is really going to make sense at all. A while back I made two videos, one in October and one in April, where I talked about why I didn't like rap music. The other one I talked about how I didn't like country music. Those videos are wrong. Tagline. And how I came to this conclusion was through many different mediums. Uh, Long Island medium. No. Basically those two videos I was talking about how I disliked both of those genres of music and how I wish they didn't exist and blah 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 and I realized that what I said was 100% wrong. Ezra Koenig, I don't know if any of you guys know who that is, he is the lead singer of Vampire Weekend. He's also one of my favorite human beings on the planet Earth and I love him a lot. I just, I, I love him. He did this interview, I think I don't remember who it's by, but it's like a 30 second clip, and I'll put it in the description if you want to watch it, because why wouldn't you want to look at his face? I always want to. It's of him talking about how there's really no such thing as bad music, because someone likes it, and as long as there's people to like it, it's not bad. How the only way that there could be bad music is if the person who made it doesn't even like it, and that rarely happens. And it kind of made me realize that that is really true. Like, you can have your opinion on it, and it can you can not like it. But that doesn't mean it's bad. So I went back and I watched those two videos and I got really upset at myself. Another thing was I started to listen to music that isn't necessarily in the genres that I usually listen to and I actually enjoyed it. It just made me realize that it doesn't matter what you listen to just as long as you like to listen to it. And then I realized that there's so many people that just listen to a certain kind of music just because of how it makes you look. And that is what I'm gonna talk about today. So many people listen to the radio these days because they think that it makes them look cool if they like a certain kind of music or people listen to indie music because they want to seem really indie and cool and alternative and then they just kind of stick to that because it's like this kind of image that they want to uphold. I like to listen to a lot of alternative music and indie music and for a while I thought that if I didn't listen to that then it didn't make me cool. I was trying to keep up this whole kind of hipstery, indie, cool, shy girl at school and that that's all I listened to and I was way cooler than everyone else. That was so wrong and I thought that I could judge other people for the music that they listen to. Yeah sure I don't like country music, it's not my favorite. I don't like it when they talk about sitting on a dirt road and drinking beer because those lyrics aren't the greatest. I don't listen to country music at all really because I just don't like the way it sounds but I'm not gonna say that that genre shouldn't exist. Like, country music genuinely makes some people really happy. And who am I to say that they should not listen to it? Because I don't think it's good. And the same with rap music. There's some rap songs that are genuinely good and they talk about really great things. I just don't like it when they talk about degrading women or when they talk about, like, drugs and stuff. Like, that's not deep. But there are some rap songs that actually talk about deep subjects. It's getting really hot in here. I'm getting really passionate about this subject and I'm, like, sweating. So I've kind of changed my mind on the whole I have to listen to this one genre or I'm not cool. I genuinely love The Killers and The Strokes and Vampire Weekend and Arctic Monkeys. I love those bands so much because of the music they make. But sometimes I like some Taylor Swift songs and Selena Gomez songs because they're catchy and they get in my head and I like them and that's okay why do we have to feel guilty about anything that we listen to and I feel like that's a waste of time and you should just listen to what you want to listen to and it doesn't really matter if people judge you then they're the ones who are doing something wrong not you you're not doing anything wrong by liking a Selena Gomez song even though you like other alternative music that's just it's just you it's not your fault you like a nice beat okay nice beat that's that truck agrees. I've just had a revelation, I guess, because I'm just sick of trying to uphold this whole I'm a cool person because I listen to alternative music and not anything else because it's not true. I like pop music. I do. I just like it. There's no reason I should have to sit and feel ashamed just because I like a Selena Gomez song. Like, that's not fair. Why do people have to make each other feel bad just because they like something? Like, why does what we like matter anyway? I know that I did offend some of you though when I made those two videos and I'm not going to delete those videos because I just don't want to, but 
I apologize if I did offend you. I don't like offending people and I don't want to do that ever again on this channel, so this is kind of my apology, it's kind of belated, but I've had a lot of time to think about this, but just do what you like to do and listen to what you like to listen to because it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. I probably won't be talking about Selena Gomez or Taylor Swift anymore in my, like, in my videos because I'm not really passionate about their music, I just think some of their songs are catchy, so don't worry if you think that now since I've like had a revelation I'm going to start talking about Taylor Swift, because I'm not, so don't worry about that. I'll just keep talking about the bands that I am very passionate about, which are the really cool ones. Not that it matters though. This video is like a game of Pong, it's just going whoop. Ooh. I don't know if any of this made sense. Leave your comments below on your opinions on the subject of images and, and tell me what you like to listen to as a guilty pleasure. Um, honest pleasures. They're not going to be called guilty pleasures anymore because we're all going to be honest here because there's no more walls. The Tom Petty song. It's a good song. It's my favorite Tom Petty song. Fun fact. I think that's all I'm going to say about this topic because I've said all I need to. I feel like I needed to tell you guys something. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow. I'm seeing these people tomorrow. In concert, live, breathing the same air. It's an outdoor show, but I'm still going to be breathing the same air. <sighs> I cannot believe it. It's going to be the best day of my young life. That's all I have to say. Sorry I'm crazy and dumb, but yeah. Hope this made sense. Bye! Why do I do the mmm part? Mmm bye. Is it like a combination of um bye or I don't know? Sounds like I'm saying Mumbai. Is that a place? I feel like it's a dance or a place or a something. Oh, it's the mamba. That's a dance, I think. Or a type of snake.